What is going on guys, it is Sam with a brand new video and what I'm gonna be showing you in today's tutorial is how to extend or shorten a song seamlessly and automatically. So you guys don't have to do any of the hard work trying to extend or shorten a song. There's a program that can do it in literally three clicks and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. So as an example of what I'm talking about is this is a wedding that I've recently edited for a client and they really love this song, right? So it's a three minute 50 song. And what they actually paid for is a five to six minute film. So in the olden days, before I knew this technique, I would drag this song out and you know, I'd try and find some key points, maybe a chorus and you'd cut on kind of the beats here. And then you'd find another start of like the bar. So like one, two, three, four, and you'd find another one I'm not going to do it properly, but I'm just going to show you guys what I would have done. Cut like on this bar and you would actually extend, whoop, you would actually extend this out, duplicate it a couple of times and try and get, whoop, did that wrong. Sorry guys. You'd try and extend it out like this to get, whoop, to get the song up to the magic five to six minutes. Um, so this is quite tedious. Sometimes it doesn't actually work and it actually goes the same way with shortening it. Say you were doing a commercial client and there was a minute on the dot film, you know, you'd cut out this end fade out and you would come to about the minute mark and you could probably cut on this beat and you could try and whoop, fade it out that way to hit the magic minute. But there is a simpler way and I'm gonna show you it. So I'm gonna delete that, and as you can see with this tutorial, what this song remix has actually done is taken it to the magic five minutes and 34 seconds, which is perfect for me to finish this edit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into Adobe Audition, and then you're gonna get up your song, so for me, I've just put it in song and you're gonna drag and drop it into audition. Now you click on it with your right button. You come into insert new multi-track session, just hit okay, that's fine, overwrite, because I've done it before. And all you're gonna do literally is you're gonna right click on it, remix, enable remix. So now it's gonna analyze the clip, kind of figure out some some major key points for it. So like some beats and stuff like that, that it can edit from. So we'll just wait for this to happen. Almost there. And then all you're gonna come to do here is this is where you extend or shorten the song. So here, what I did, I changed this to five minutes and 30. So that's the target. It might not be able to do it bang on, but it's gonna get as close as possible to whatever you type there. If you type 10 minutes, it'll try and get it to 10 minutes. If you type 30 seconds, it'll try and get to 30 seconds. So let me just show you here. Hit okay, and it applies it. And let's have a look here. Oh, that's really loud. We get all the way here to, I'm just gonna turn this down. Get all the way here. My love, to, oh my love. Perfect, so that's actually exactly what I did and then you would just come out to file, export, um, multi-track mix down, entire session, um, and I would just export as an MP3, just call it song remix is what I did, and then you just export it, and then drag and drop it in to your Premiere, and just drag and drop it down here. Um, and let me just quickly show you how it works for shorter. I'm just gonna undo that. So with this enable remix, let's just make this one minute. So I'll show you how it works both ways. One minute. And so it actually got it to one minute and seven is the best it could do. And you can see it kind of adds like a splice point so you can see where it's done things. So that's seamless. You wouldn't even know. And actually you can see that the, the song fades out perfectly for one minute. It says it's a little bit longer, but that's just the outro. So that would be perfect to do for like a commercial film to the perfect one minute. 
Um, so that's pretty well the quick tutorial that I was here to show you guys. Um, if you guys have any other tutorials or questions that you want to know, like how I set up projects or my render settings, anything like that, don't hesitate to comment down below and I'll try and do more of these because I actually quite like doing screen recorded tutorials. I don't like being in front of the camera too much. I prefer being behind it. So I might see you guys in another tutorial.